Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here. Michelle is here on uh, September the 26th, 2024. And this is a Thursday. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. So today I want to talk about something that uh, I've been paying attention to. I've been paying attention to certain movements of a certain group of people for a while. And, you know, the shamefulness of how they operate uh, behind the scenes and and how they are projecting a certain image of, of themselves as, uh, you know, the, 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 the know-it-alls, you know, the, the powerful. Uh, and at the same time, they are nothing more than nothing less than a extremely dangerous cult, C-U-L-T. Um, I've been paying attention to, to them for a while because I realized that they were paying attention to me, okay? Otherwise, I wouldn't have known that they existed because, you know, there's so many things going on. I had my own stuff, my own issues to bear and my own issues to uh, handle things. And this, these type of cults, because there's many of them, there's many of them. When they realize that someone is the genuine, original uh, personality as such, they're the type that like to be behind the scenes and doing everything they can to take, 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 and then go run somewhere else and lie about who they are. This is gonna make sense in a minute. And I'm, I'm projecting this to, to those of you that are resonating and you know exactly what I'm talking about. Cause like I said, I know you're paying attention to me Okay, and I started paying attention to you when I realized that you all were paying attention to me. All right. So, um, a couple of decades ago, um, a couple of decades ago, I, I would say in the 70s, maybe 60s, but more so the 70s, when this particular man, you know, this, this particular unassuming man was saying certain things and doing certain things. And a lot of people were skeptical, of course, of course. And you're supposed to have a healthy amount of skepticism. And they are, you know, and, and the, the particular people that were paying attention to this, this particular man, this unassuming man, felt like that they could buy anything. You know, they had that kind of mentality about themselves that you know I can I can buy anything I want and that a lot of people are susceptible to take stuff I mean to uh want stuff such as cash gold silver you know what I mean stand by just one And I put a video out about this a while ago, you know, some time ago. And, you know, so th this this is directed to a certain group of people. So a lot of other, the, the rest of you probably won't even know what the hell I'm talking about. And it's not going to resonate. It resonates, like I said, your sounds and tones resonate with who it ought to resonate with. And sometimes you have to change your sounds and tones, okay? And that means change how you project and your pitch and how you, you know, sometimes you have to talk a little louder. Sometimes you can talk a little softer. I'm talking a little louder because, like I said, th this group of people are dangerous. Okay? They're dangerous. And it goes back to, this goes way back, you know, to be honest with you, with, to Moses. Okay, Moses, yes. Moses, w Moses, as everybody ought to know, was a, a genuine, original person. Okay, it's just the the uh, history behind Moses is just different than what we are being told about this man. So, this group of people, uh, like any, like we all believe that we are good people, right? And and it shows up in your behaviors and actions. At you know. Good people, righteous people, it shows up in your behaviors and actions. You don't have any of this clandestine stuff going on in the background. You know, smiling in everybody's faces about how holier than thou you are. 
okay? You're not righteous, but you're self-righteous. And it's all individual, that whole individual group of you, the whole individual cult of you, okay? You've manipulated the whole situation to now everything. Like I said, there's a cause and effect. There's a cause and effect. You cannot, cannot fool your consciousness, okay? That is going to come back and bite you, okay? So decades ago, there was this man, unassuming man, that was saying things, doing things, and uh, a lot of people called him a messenger. They call him a prophet. They call him a hero, which was which is irrelevant, okay? And the, and what was so un, and it's so he was so unassuming, you know. People will people believed because it is a belief that they can walk all over this person, it just like it, just like you and I, and us. So many people believe because we're so unassuming that you can walk all over us and do this or that and the other. Okay, remember, and this is for people that are so religious, you know, when there was this so-called prophet, remember the prophet had disciples, okay? And a lot of people do not realize that, you know, back in, the, in that time, uh, the disciples were men and women. Okay, men and women. Okay, they were not just male disciples. But that's 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 something you can take up with yourself. I'm not going to take up with that. I put a vid put videos out about that a long time ago. But I'm just I just like to keep I just like to keep this particular group updated on. I'm no fool, no serene. Okay, let's let me continue. So this man, you know, the, um. I mean, he, he, you know, he was he was telling everything that was expected to be heard. He was doing things expected to be done, and then a lot of people were saying, "Oh no, that's that's there's no way this man can be our messenger." You know, because everybody has their own individual messenger. Everybody has their own individual hero. That's why you have so many of these so-called pictures of th these holy holy figures. You know, you call them God, you call them Jesus, you call them Lord, you call them Allah, you call them. You know, it just goes on and on and on and on and on, okay? So, this unassuming man, like I said, was doing things that these so-called, uh, uh, because keep in mind, when they're, you know, let's just go back. Let's go back 2,000 years, since everybody likes to refer to what happened 2,000 years ago or 2,000, you know, 2,024 years ago. All right, let's 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 go back there for a moment. Let's revisit. Since we constantly are, we're constantly there. We're car we're carrying around a book that we call the Bible, saying that that's where everything is. That's where everything was placed, and that's what you're supposed to live by, right? That's what that's what you all are telling me, and I and I, I said it. You all, I know a lot of people get pissed off with that. Deal with it, and stay and stay tuned. Let me finish. Let's go back. 2,200, let's go back 2,024 years. There was this man there, okay, and you and it was he was called what? God, all right? Let's, let's just say it. It's irrelevant about what he was called because, like I said, some people call him Allah, strangely enough. Some, some people call him this. Some people call him that. But supposedly it's that one person. That one person is supposed to be all of that. All right, cool. Stand by once again. Now, I do what I, I do what I, I do what I can with these videos. I'm not I'm not sitting here thinking I'm professional uh, vis uh, video person, not at all. I'm being real and genuine, and this is what you have right before your eyes. Okay, now let me continue to this particular group, and you know who you are. So, but let's 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 go back. Let's 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 take a trip back since we all do. And, and and think about something. Let's be clearly, you know, because we're we're approaching the dawn in the age of Aquarius, February third, twenty twenty nine. Okay, and that is very very significant. That's a cosmic significant event. And for some people, it may be in uneventful, and for some people, it will be eventful. But one thing I keep reminding you is you cannot fool your consciousness. Okay, you cannot. 
All you're doing is self-destructing yourself and causing yourself to be what? You fill in the pieces. So let's go back 20, 2,224 years ago. You know, there was this man that we, you know, that we um, have um, have uh, created into this uh, this this God. Okay, let's let's do that. Remember that God, as I said, had disciples and had helpers. You know, there was there was people around this so-called God, right? And so we know all, through a series of events what happened eventually. You know. Um, uh, this person, this God, you know, was, uh, you know, was injured and a lot of people call it crucified. Okay. Let's call it that. Let's call it. We, you know, that's, that's, that's what we like to do. We like to keep conjuring this up. So let's, let's bring it modern style. How about that? So my point is this, okay. This man, 2,224 years ago, had this, had this circle of events happening around him, okay, whereas he was, uh, you know, alleged, was alleged to have done this and alleged to have done that. I wasn't there in 20, I mean, you know, 2,224 years ago. I'm sure my former personalities were, let's not go there. So my point is there was so much on the shoulders of this man, okay, and, um, and then, you know, and, th and then that's when the legends started. That's when the lies started, the deception started. And it continues and continues and continues even up to this day about that man, okay? And who he was and what he could do. In the midst of all of that, as we all know, anytime someone, that singular person like as such, is alleged to have, have something uh, such as the power bestowed on them this particular person even you know from even then and now they're not bestowing anything on themselves that's what we do we idolize people okay we turn people into celebrities we turn people into influencers you know we give the, we give these people which are nothing more nothing less than human beings all of this so-called power and bestow them as such but yet, there's always an underlining backstory to everything, okay, everything. So any time, whether it happened 2,000 years ago or any time, if it's happening now, if there's a one singular person that is assumed, assumed to have a certain level of power and capabilities and knowledge, okay, that person, all eyes are on them, eyes on them, eyes on them. And what happens usually is the same pattern that happened 2,000 years ago. You're going to have certain people that are paying attention to that, listening to that, and feeling that. Okay? And it's, and it's, um, and it's on a verge of a jealousy and envy because these, t this, these tip, usually typical singular people, it's many now, but I'm saying this particular singular people appearing to be singular a lot of people are paying attention to that, right? And it's taken away from other groups of people. And in, in other words, the eyes are not on them. The eyes are not on them. The eyes are not on they. The eyes are not on they, okay? Stay with me. So there's always this underlining something going on in the background. And I keep tell, I keep saying that over and over again because it's true. There's always a level of something else going on in the background. And it's usually sinister because if it, if it were not, then why would it be hidden? Why is it hidden in the background? Well, you know, why can only certain people get to these people and they're supposed to be blah, blah, blah. And what I'm saying is this. Anytime there's this one singular individual that comes forward, uh, a generation after generation, century after century, thousands of years after, you know, any time a singular, that singular person comes forward, they, it, it, the, the elements around them that's paying attention is, uh, is, is uh, filled with jealousy and envy because they know that person is original and genuine. They know. 
Certain people know when someone is telling the truth. Okay, and the truth is a threat to their operations, okay, to their groups. Because what usually happens is um, when there's one person or a few, now it's a few of us, a few of them, a few of they. Let's just put it out there. All right, you think about it. Anytime there's one singular person that appears to have that, that knowledge that everybody looks for, that skills and abilities, these type of parasites and leeches in these cults, are going to jump on them like, I mean, they're, they're going to jump on it and do everything in their power to extract as much as they can out of these out of these people. Because usually these people that, are, that have that, that aura around them uh, are very modest. You know, they're not, they're not living, lab, you know, they don't have one or two or three vehicles. They don't have 10 houses. They don't have gold stored underneath the ground, okay, in one particular place, that's where a lot of gold is and gold and silver, you know, and precious jewels hidden underground of a particular building in a particular area, figure it out. And, and there's also many, many is like that as well. There are many cults like that. I mean, thousands of cults like that, okay? So anytime there's someone that has this particular skills and abilities and knowledge, and these cults know about it. They know they, because they always wait for them. They, it goes down generation after generation after generation to be on the lookout for that particular type of individual so that they can go in there, like I said, and extract whatever they can and then eliminate them if they can. Okay, and in most cases, they have succeeded in doing so, unfortunately. All right, so again, that one singular person always and usually has what we call disciples or associates around them that are assisting them, but they make mistakes too. Like I said, gatekeepers fall asleep on the job just like anybody else can. Gatekeepers make mistakes. You know, gatekeepers are, you know, um, their own worst enemy, blah, blah, blah. I mean, they're human beings. They're making mistakes. And I, ble and I can guarantee you a lot of them didn't realize that they could make such a drash, you know, uh, um, drastic mistakes, but you can. That's what that's what it's all about with the evolution of the consciousness. So, so just as it happened uh, two thousand years over two thousand years ago, it's happening. The same thing is happening now. We haven't changed not one goddamn bit. And when I say we, I'm talking about those cults. You know who you are. You know who you are. You listen to people that like myself and others that that are telling you things that, and you know it's ringing a bell. You know, you know. Okay, uh oh. You, start, you sit up straight, okay, because you, you, you've been waiting for this for so long, a lot of you. A lot of you have been waiting for this, for uh, you know, just been waiting, okay, and let's put it that way. All you got to do is go back to those so-called Bibles you have that you that you um, you lay your life on the line for, okay? They call them Koran, Bible, whatever, whatever it's called. I don't keep up with it, you know, I don't. I don't need to. But anytime you have... Uh, this this type of uh, eating frenzy of jealousy and envy, it, it the results speak for themselves. The results speak for themselves. So when this singular person came forward, and I think I said like in the 60s, 70s, and was relaying certain type of information, that sat, that, that set off... Uh, a massive amount of uh, churning up of criminal energy. That's what I'm going to call it. It was criminal energy that spurred up. And so these cult leaders, these cult leaders believe that they are it. They believe that they have all these powers and capabilities, and usually they fall flat on their face. But they're so persuasive and so convincing and they could easily indoctrinate you, I, us, all of us. They have that power, and, and you know, because if you're not developing your consciousness properly, yes, you can be susceptible to anything. And even if you are developing your consciousness properly, you can still be fall victim to being attempted to be hypnotized, indoctrinated, blah blah blah. So, this one this one singular person had disciples around them. 
okay, which is always left out of these Bibles and Korans. And it's always the assumption that they were all males, and that's not true at all. They were males and females, by the way. So this particular one single, this one singular person was teaching these, these quote-unquote disciples, okay? And then these disciples were supposed to go and spread it out. And, and during the course of time, you know, of course, that failed because there was so much interference by, from these cult leaders. Because, like I said, the cult leaders filled with rage, jealousy, and envy. They want to know that. They want that. They want what this person has. But they don't understand the consciousness. Okay? And that's what I keep, keep referring back to. You cannot fool your consciousness. No matter how, what kind, no matter how good you look in a suit, no matter how good you look in a bow tie, okay, no matter how eloquently you speak, you know, how how handsome you are or how beautiful you are. Because women, you know, like I said, women are a part of all of this. Women are a part of these cults. But usually the woman is subjugated and, and, and is told what to say. They'll deny it. They'll come forward and act like they're so confident. No, they're subjugated. They do what they're told. They say what they're supposed to say. All right. So, like I said, that one singular person... Let's just, you know, let's make that literal, figuratively and metaphorically, was teaching his, his, his disciples, and they would go out and spread this message. Always in the background, there's other people listening, okay, and they're usually nefarious and have evil intentions because of that jealousy, rage, and, and they want what this singular person has. So they'll come in and perpetrate, they'll come in and have a false persona, hint, 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 isn't, isn't that what's happening now? Nothing has changed. We are not evolving properly as a collective. Okay, and the actions and behaviors and results speak for themselves. Okay, but again, this, this video is, is for one or two or three or four, and it's for these cult leaders. Okay, these cult leaders, which are clerics. Okay, remember I brought that term up a while ago. Clerics and how we were taught that they are essentially just as uh, dangerous as psychopaths, sociopaths, narcissists. They're all in that in that group where you know they they all are in that sphere of uh, of of uh, uh, degeneracy, okay, deviancy, you know, criminal energy. I think criminal energy sums it all up for me. Okay, that ought to, that ought to enlightens a lot of people when I say that and what that means. Okay, so when, let's just bring it back, because what happened 2,000 years ago is happening right now. Again, when this one particular singular man was uh, traveling all over the world, attempting to, to wake people up and shake them out of their trances and let them know what's happening to this planet, what's happening to them, what they need to do to evolve their consciousness, well, guess what happened to him, you know? He was, he was, uh, t he, they, they said he was crazy. And at, at some point he did, uh, uh, I'm not sure if he committed himself to a um, facility or he was told that he had to be in a facility. You know, this, this, he was, he was battered essentially from birth, you know, you, you know, and I say that literally, figuratively and metaphorically, you know, he was bullied. I mean, everything in the, everything in the book that could happen to this particular man, it happened, but he, he still persevered and went on and, did, and stayed on course and stayed on path because he knew what he had to do. Okay. He knew what, he knew what was, res, what he was responsible for and that was saving humanity. Okay. And I put a video out uh, some time ago where we failed we failed at saving humanity, so now we are on our own. At some point, we will be on our own, and nobody's going to come and save us. Nobody was coming to save us initially, but that's that's the whole thing that people were waiting for. They were waiting for this somebody to come come floating out of the sky, you know, and, and standing there, and come on, snap out of it. Okay, snap out of it. Instead of, um, and so instead of... So what this singular person, like I said, was sharing things, saying to them, look, this is what can happen to you if you don't do this. This is what can happen to you if you don't do that. Uh, and a lot of people were, were on board, just as it always is. Bring it modern style. 
if you believe that somebody knows something or have something, you know, you gonna you want some too, you know. You wanna know. So unfortunately, um, due to our underdevelopment, you know, and I say two thousand years ago, we were not doing what was necessary to evolve our consciousness. You know, we weren't listening to these messengers, prophets, heralds. We weren't listening. The majority of the majority of the people back then, which was a smaller community, smaller population, they weren't listening either. They weren't listening to the disciples. They weren't listening to the, that one singular man. Fast forward, same thing's happening. No one's listening to this man. But guess what they're doing? All right, let's start. Let's 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 bring it back a little bit. Once they realized that this man was the genuine shit. He knew what he was talking about. And they know it. They know that he knew because that's who they've been waiting for. Where is this man? They know it wasn't them because they are they are snakes. Okay, they're cowards. You know, they're hiding behind this 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 badge of uh honor that they didn't earn and never will, unfortunately. You know, their their behaviors and actions are no different than what their past personalities were. They're doing the same thing deception, manipulation, you know, criminal energy, okay? Criminal energy. So, when this man made himself known because that's 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 that was the mission. He had to do it. He just, he signed on, he signed on for this. When I say he there it, it this stick with that. This person knows what he is supposed to do. And he understands the importance of doing it. Okay. Now, when he came forward, there were, I, I say in the beginning, thousands of people that were interested. And they would go to his place of residence to, to, to sit down and talk to this man. And he was getting all of this attention. And that was bothering these cult leaders. Trust me. Because these cult leaders had everybody convinced that they were it they they had everyone believing they were it but then when people started to realize wait a second and that's what separating the wheat from the chaff is doing and that's why things are being exposed now and you think it you think that's the beginning of it okay okay sit back and believe that that's a belief and i told you to work on your beliefs okay but no 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 okay cool this singular person as i said started getting a whole lot of attention, started providing evidence to prove what he was saying was true. And what was being said was false, was lies, intentional. It was intentional doc indoctrination, okay, via religion, via whatever, you know, via those that, that type of energy, deception. <clears throat> so these clever these clever ones, these so-called sophisticated ones, knew that this man had treasures that go deep. <clears throat> okay, and they wanted it by any means necessary. By any means necessary. They believe that it belongs to them. They need that so that they can keep this false persona of who they think they are and how powerful they think they are. Keep it going. Okay, it's being exposed. It's all going to collapse. Hey, it you, you know, we all had so many opportunities to correct this over thousands of years. But the same type of lineage of personalities continued to do the same stuff. Deception, deception, greed. It belongs to me. I'm the all-powerful one. And because our population is so so massively, massively overpopulated, instead of having say 10, this is just, you know, just say having 10 people that believe that as your population swells, it's just going to bring in more and more and more who think that they have all this power. And so chances are it can be in the millions. Chances are it can be in the billions. Okay. And so in the midst of that, you have the righteous ones that are attempting to, you know, navigate through it as well, you know, with the self-righteous you know we're, we're in we're all in this together by the way there's no you know even though we are so divided we're closer than we've ever been we're 
in each other's space. Okay, and it's dangerous, as I said, for biological women, children, animals, creatures, the environment, the flaunt of the 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 trees, the flauna of uh, fauna. You know, it, it, humanity as a whole, the planet as a whole, is in extreme danger because of these individual groups of people, and there, there's many of them. You know that that have this pyramid style of uh, of uh, operating and pyramid style of leadership, and they and you know they fester everywhere. They're in religion, they're in the, the the billionaire boys club, they're in politics, they're everywhere. Okay, there's I can say there's millions of them, but you know small impacts can make a difference as well as big impacts. So. When they realized that this man was a genuine messenger, because he is, all hands were on deck to take, take, take what this man is disseminating, disseminating, disseminating. And they felt this because he was unassuming that they could do it, and they and they did. What happened is, you know, these so-called cult leaders and these uh, nefarious type of criminal energy, they came to visit this man, believe it or not. That's that's a lot of, uh, you know, just think about that. They went to see this man, and they, uh, uh, so many of them attempt to bribe him, to bribe him and say, hey, if I give you this, would you share this with me? If, you, if I give you that, you know, they attempted to, to take money, currency, diamond silver that they had stolen because a lot of that has been stolen and and attempted to give it to him you know take take from the poor take from the resources of this planet and they were attempting to give it give this to this man and he turned him down and that pissed that, that pissed a lot of them off but at the same time he had stuff readily available he wasn't hiding anything he had all of this that he was attempting to say to share with all of us, disseminate with all of us. It was it was available. So guess what happened? Well, just think about the Bible. What happened with the Bible? Okay, it got translated over into their language. You know, instead of it being a, a, a singular mission for humanity, it became an individual um, mission for particular cults. They started taking on this information themselves and, and 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 conjuring it up into their language to fit their narrative, okay, and to to and to bring back this sense of, um, you know, that they're the old the all powerful. So what they were doing is plagiarizing this man's material, and they still do it today. Pla you know, and it's, since there are so many people that are involved in this in this plot, you know, it's going to be hard to. Uh, to know who originated and where it's originated. All you got to do is look at the results, though. And all you got to do is, you, you can find it. I mean, people have been saying it for, for decades upon decades. You'll find it in religion. All these religions, you'll find some sort of behaviors like that in religion and politics and, and business owners. So the same kind of behaviors and actions are happening now, Okay. Whereas this man's material is being plagiarized, plagiarized, and people are, you know, like taking in bits and pieces of it and, and putting it together to fit their narrative. In other words, it's still immaterial. Okay, criminal energy is criminal energy. So what they do is, you know, so now artificial intelligence is here. Artificial intelligence is here. And so it makes it easier for this this cowardly criminal energy to fest to to kind of blossom, so to speak, you know, because artificial intelligence is neutral. Everything is based on the hands that feeding it. Like I said, that's Frankenstein syndrome. You know what happened to the mad scientist? Yes, yeah, scientists are, were, are in it more specifically and especially engineers, scientists. You know these so-called uh, intellectual minds okay it's all about greed it's all about bestowing themselves as more than they are and it's all about being being um, 
so-called, and that's where that's where I say that energy around chosen ones. Pay attention to that. If you can continue to want to call yourself a chosen one, understand the understand the consequences of that, the ramifications, and understand what you are doing to your consciousness by saying that and understanding the history of uh, those that are calling themselves chosen ones from decades and decades before were also were also uh, uh, disseminating criminal energy. So if you want to be associated with that, continue to call yourself chosen. All right, let's continue. So what's happening now with the with artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is making it easier for these criminal, sophisticated minds to operate because in, it, because in most cases, I would say 99% of the time, these kind of criminal energy light individuals and their followers and their you know, their their followers, let's call them followers, are not thinking. What they're doing is attempting to be clever in their thinking. They they they're attempting to be deceptive in their thinking. And so they're not necessarily thinking at all. What they're looking for is power. What they're looking for is to to you know to extreme subjugation, especially of women, you know, and submissiveness of the population. Get these people controlled. All right. I remember this term I told you. Uh, I was working in a particular industry, entity, profession. Round them up like cattle. In other words, these cult leaders, wherever they are, see their followers as animals. Non-human. Okay? They treat dogs better and we know that than they do and that's why there's this uproar about people um eating cats and dogs okay when if if anybody has been paying attention to history that ha that was happening uh several decades ago where they were eating cats and dogs okay the you know that Korea, uh north korea south korea populations of people because that was their staple meal in their countries Everybody eats exotic animals all over this country, okay? That's why there's an uproar because it now it's cats and dogs. And, and, you know, and we know in America how we feel about cats and dogs over human beings. Okay, a lot of you are going to be having to make that decision at some point in your life as to whether it's going to be about your cats and dogs or about your life. And whether you live or die. Okay? Remember that. Now, with this criminal energy of people, okay, they're very clever and very sophisticated. And, and their whole ideal, their whole ideal is to be bestowed as more than they are. They are they, they, that leadership position is, is, is uh, something they would die for, okay? And then when you involve criminal energy, it's by any means necessary, destroy that person eliminate that person okay she's talking too much Shh, tell her to shut the fuck up sounds familiar i was interacting with a group of people you know i would say a month or so ago and i started picking up some criminal energy in that group you know in, in the language so pay attention to who you're interacting with and ask yourself, okay, what is really going on here? Okay, no one has to know you're doing that. Okay, because it's happening right before our eyes. Okay, we have these element of people. They're against each other, trust me on that. But they are they still have that same criminal energy. Criminal energy is criminal energy. Doesn't matter what group it comes from. Okay, their whole idea is shut people down. You know, shut the shut that you know, shut that man down that knows all this stuff, but take his stuff, steal it, you know, and do what you've done to the Bibles or these Korans or whatever they call it, these so called spiritual books, even scientific books, even philosophers, okay, from back in the day. Distort it, okay, change it, and what is 
What's happening now with banning the books, same thing happened decades ago, thousands of years ago. Burning the books, you know, burn that knowledge because that's they, because they know once you evolve and open up, that's it. Their cover is blown. So a lot of people are getting their covers blown and they're getting desperate. Their behaviors and actions are desperate. You can tell, I can tell. Anybody paying attention, I can tell. There's there's desperation in what they're doing, okay? They are seeking to control by any means necessary. And those of you, like myself and others, and this one particular man, if you don't fall in line, okay, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna take care of you. We're gonna, you know, do this and that and the other. But, but a lot of them are cowards, more cowardly, because, you know, it's so, it's so, um, <clears throat> these, these times are, these, these times are peril. And what, and so what these particular cults of people are believing is that someone is coming to save them. Okay. And because they know that there's others outside this planet. Stop it. They know that other human beings exist outside this planet. Okay, there's pure, there's more evidence than needed, but a lot of it gets suppressed. So what I want to say, um, I think I've said enough, but I'm, what I want to say to you, you particular ones that are paying attention to me, to I, to I, we, us, to them, to they, to she, to him, um, the truth is timeless and time does run out for some okay it's um, it's too late for a lot of you to come out of a certain criminal um, you know come out of a certain criminal energy because it fuels you you know it, it, it's, it's, it's more important to you than breathing and they have that type of energy and power that you believe you have. So you're going to continue to steal stuff from people. You're going to still continue to plagiarize <clears throat> original information that's out there. And you're going to fail, sadly. You're going to fail. It's going to be painful. You know, um, you're going to. You're going to be given so many opportunities, but, you know, those times to really make the impact as collective are over. It is about, you know, saving yourself and uh, protecting yourself. And uh, for some of you that, you know, have been on the fence about things, you knew something wasn't right. 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, but you're in it. You know, you're all in. And when you did have the opportunity, maybe 10, 20, 30 years ago, you failed to capitalize on it. So you know that you are stuck. You know that you will be eventually be abandoned. You know that you may be eventually taken out. You don't know what's going to happen to you. But what I do know is Mother Nature is going to take care of it. Mother Nature is going to take care of a lot of it. You know, because that's, 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 you know, this planet does not belong to human beings. It belongs to all of us, and that includes the animals, the trees, the creatures. So what I want to say to you that, that are paying attention to my words and the words of others, you know, hey, um, I don't know, what, ha what has it done for you? I, I can guarantee you, you're still in the spin. You're still in the spin. You think all oh, because of you put information out that you've stolen. Hey, let me let's rush and put this kind of information out. You know, feed it into artificial intelligence and spout it out as if that all originally came from you. That that's gonna expose you even more so than ever. Okay. Again, you can't fool your consciousness, and your criminal energy is what's destroying you. Okay, uh, and you are under the belief that you're destroying us, them, they. And you'll be surprised and where it's coming from. It's coming from every walk of life. It's not coming from one particular group. 
I told you there's many, many, many groups of people, maybe millions, maybe billions of them. And the way we are headed, chances are it's billions of people because they're, they're, they're resonating on that same on that same frequency as well. Criminal energy. Okay, it's criminal energy. So continue to, to continue to listen. You know, um, I know that I can resonate with maybe one, but I, I know I can't resonate with uh, many people that have criminal energy. I, you know, it just doesn't, my consciousness won't allow it anyway. Okay. Um, but yeah, you're still in content from people. You, that has been your MO, you know, that's your method of operation for decades upon decades. And so that's hard to come out of as well. But a lot of you, I know you're miserable. I could tell some of you by listening to some of you, you may be maybe experiencing some type of torture, you too. Torture, hear me, where you have to say certain things and do certain things that are get are against your your uh, personality and it's against your uh, it's against who you are. I can tell some of you are starving. I can tell some of you look like you are, like I said, being tortured to say certain things that you know are not true. But, you know, you allowed yourself, because of greed, because of arrogance, because of your ego, you refuse to uh, let your ego go. So now see where your ego has led you. So you have no other choice because, you, you know, because you want to appear as though you have all this strength and power. And to admit that you made a mistake and admit that you have weaknesses, unheard of. And it won't happen during my lifetime. I'm sorry to say that. I'm not sorry to say it, but the result speaks for themselves. But what I would say to these particular individuals who realize that they are being used, taken advantage of, made to lie, manipulate, steal, you know, and, and, and conjure up, you know, more, more of this criminal energy, you know that you are. You, there's nowhere to, nowhere to go because you know you'll be taken out the next day. You'll be eliminated. You know that. Um, Several leaders, icon leaders in, in the past realized what was happening as well. You know, it was, it was from people that looked like you. Make sure you understand that. The people that cause the most harm to you, they look just like you. They come from your neighborhood. They, they walk around in your neighborhood. They interact in your neighborhood. Okay, Atlanta, Georgia, perfect example of that. Okay, so... I'm going to say more about this, of course. And I know this is a long video. And not many people are going to listen to it. Not many people, but the right, the right ones will. The ones that are following me and others and this one particular man still in our, still, still in our content and attempting to, to believe that it's all coming from them when they can't think out of a garbage can. And they know it. They know that their, their brain cells are dying. They know that there's atrophy going on. They know that they are a Tom, you know, then they, they know that they are uh, operating, uh, falsely operating as a human being. But deep down inside, they hate themselves. And if they had enough courage, they would take themselves out. They know that, but they don't. They don't have the courage to do that. And that's because of fear. They fear death. Okay. Even though it's part of life. They fear it because they were believing that they had power over that. Okay, you know, you know, it's just sick and delusional and hallucinating. I will help some of you, but I know that I, uh, the majority of you, I will have to reject. That's not my responsibility. It's too dangerous to be swirling around in criminal energy. It's too dangerous. You're going to have to find a way to get yourself out and get yourself safe, but that may not last long. Okay. So again, a long video, but I know who I'm directing this video to. So, you know, the right ears will hear it. The right eyes will see it and they will sense and receive it as well. Okay. Peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains, because at the end of the day, whoever you are, whatever you are, it's, you still are a human being, and you are deserving of love and deserving of universal love. Okay? Take that to bed.
piece of love and trust me, I'll be back.